Hey boo, welcome home. So today we are doing a pick a card reading for you. And this pick a card topic is what version of your lover, of your soulmate, of your person are you manifesting right now? Okay. So basically this topic just came up to me in my mind and I was like, okay, I have to do this topic because um, it genuinely covers like what energy you are in, you know, which is also attracting the kind of person that you deserve based on your frequency and your vibration right so you will actually realize like what version of your person are you manifesting this could be a no contact situation this could be your crush right this could be the person of your dreams whoever this is right we'll see exactly what version of them are you manifesting and are you attracting towards yourself okay now the second part of this reading will be on my patreon okay and that will be how can you attract the perfect version of them what can you do to attract the perfect version of them in your life as your romantic partner right this could be with the same person that you're in separation with we're dealing with your crush you know no contact or you could be single as well and you can watch this reading right so part two will be available in the description box the link of my patreon will be in the description box below all right and uh, you can check out my patreon for other services like learning how to alchemize okay there's an alchemist tier as well along with pick a card tier so you can check that out in case you want to learn spell work or attracting manifestation etc all right so let's tune into your reading and if you like it please do like comment subscribe and enjoy this reading peace right so pile one for those of you who chose pile one Let's tap into your reading and see what version of them are you currently attracting? What version of your lover, of your crush, of your soulmate are you currently attracting in your life? Okay, we have rescuer. Hmm, interesting. So it says provide strength and support to others in crisis. Acts out of love with no expectation of reward. Interesting. Hmm. Now I'm picking up some manipulation in their energy. Pile one. Okay. Because I'm an intuitive reader and based on how the card came out, it was almost in reverse and I kept it upright. And it's like I was manipulated to keep it upright. Okay. Which is interesting to me. Um, so what I'm getting for your person's energy and who you're attracting in your love life is that this person loves to be in codependent relationships okay and their intention towards you will be to keep a codependent relationship with you which is where you are needy for their time for their energy for their attention and for that if they have to manipulate you or maneuver around you in ways to keep you hooked onto them then they will do that pile one okay and i feel like you are a person who actually loves to help people but you could also love to fix people you you like to hope and daydream about how you can fix a person with your love right so this is why you're attracting this kind of a lover in your life is someone who will want to build a connection which will be based on you needing them either financially emotionally right mentally like they want you handicapped in those areas so that you will always need them always want to come back to them for some kind of uh, for some kind of relief for some kind of advice or and i'm not saying that asking for advice and consulting with your lover and talking to them is bad i'm not saying that but when a person manipulates you to constantly need them and want them and without them it's hard for you to live it's hard for you to survive it's hard for you to make decisions because everything you did you did based on thinking that they will always be with you or they will always be next to you always decide for you always lead the relationship for you always make the decisions for you 
right pailwan so that is the kind of person that you are attracting based on the current energy that you have right so that's just one card right there i was just channeling for you okay yeah at the bottom of the deck literally we have god and then we have angel right so this is like again with god and angel this is telling me that they have a kind of a god complex about themselves that everything should go according to what they say what they think and you should be able to read their mind because you are an angel that's created by them i'm hearing like that's a god complex where you should be subservient to me you should listen to my orders you should follow my order right i'm taking it in a negative sense because that's how i'm getting that's the energy i'm getting from this this vibe here okay and yeah i feel like this angel is like protecting herself from you know the god complex person okay because she appears to be someone who's extremely giving but also giving from a space of wanting to get back right so there's also a sense of manipulation in your energy even though you do not recognize it pile one about wanting to basically get a version of them that will always be next to you that will always need you to follow their uh, all uh, follow their orders it's interesting i'm not able to speak in your pile this is so interesting here it's like this person has a problem with you and your needs and your desires and your wants like you should shut up and you should not talk because i'm in a meeting i'm hearing or adults are talking i'm hearing like you're like a child or you're like a kid in front of them or like you're emotionally the kid or you you will always be the problem in this relationship pile one you will always be the issue right and they will always have a reason to blame you and to point fingers at you about how you you uh basically brought down their reputation because you didn't dress properly in that one party where they were supposed to crack a deal for example this person could be from a well to do background as well like someone who's wealthy i'm hearing someone who um does well with their finances but because of that status they have a very inflated ego about themselves and you will be victimized in the situation because you want to fix you want to save you want to change that person okay so this could have been happening in your relationships or this is something that you have been experiencing um or and this is the reason why pile one okay this is the reason why and i'm finding a hard time to speak in this particular pile which is telling me that this person will will not allow you to voice your opinions they will not allow you to define what this relationship is or where it is going it's all up to them and if they say that it's a situation ship it is a situation ship if they say it's all about lust and you know taking advantage of the fact that you are someone who likes to give and likes to help and be generous then it will be that it's totally up to them like they are the god in this relationship and you are the slave or you are the person who is subservient to what they say right now some of you could maybe enjoy this maybe you like a dominant person you like to submit to a person that's well and okay if the, this is your cup of tea this is your cup of tea pile one right but for others of you who have been suffering with attracting such kind of people this is why is because of your own energy here of wanting to save of wanting to fix what is not fixable right because people do not change for you they will never change for you they will only change for themselves people will never change for you remember that pile one that's a lesson you need to learn maybe you're learning that right now right so um i'm going to take these cards in fact because they are very very um apt for this reading god angel rescuer okay interesting so let's get these oracle cards as well first so pile one spirit what kind of a person is pile one attracting i'm hearing like this person if they travel for example 
they will stop talking to you they will not talk to you for weeks right um and then wh- when they get back they want you to answer your call immediately like they want you to be available for them immediately right um there's a certain level of entitlement that they will have over you even though if you voice your opinions or needs or what you want from them in exchange they will be absent for it they will be distant about it they will be cold about it or give you the cold shoulder about it because now you're being too needy now you're being too clingy even though they want that kind of a relationship they want you to be needy they want you to be subservient right so tell me more about this uh, for pile 1 what version of their crush their person are they att- are they attracting right now we have fifth house passion yeah this is i'm i'm getting like this adrenaline rush this love bombing energy like initially love bombing you and making you feel like you're on you know you're their one and only right taking you on drives um spending and splurging on you initially to make you feel like you're on top of the world like you've gotten the most perfect partner that you could have ever desired and ever needed right and maybe taking you to amusement parks to kind of um, or taking you to like horror movies to like you know get closer and closer to you <clears throat> and once they are done with the passion that they want to experience with you by doing this love bombing and getting you hooked on to them with intimate moments right this is when this shadow side and this dark side is going to start coming out in front of you where they will try to use their power that they have to to hook you to now control you and control what you say what you do what you don't do right and it's all about that rush i'm hearing so you'll feel that rush initially with this person like you have found the one and you'll like be swept up of your feet right interesting we have sun being yeah this is again talking about ego with the sun and again leo fifth house um leo in their dark side is narcissism okay so there's a strong element of narcissism in this person like only caring about what they want and what they like okay they do not care about what your needs are what your wants are as long as their needs are met as long as they can um manipulate you to get their desires met and needs met right and again with the sun here they will become the center of your solar system like you will stop focusing on everything in your life and you will only focus on them like that's what they like they like all attention being on them if you are focusing on something else if you have your own life if you have your own independence if you have your own hobbies your own interests and things to do this person gets triggered by that and this person will start making you kind of um making you feel punished for having needs and wants they will punish you for these things is what i'm hearing and punishment will come in ways of threatening your position in their life because the way they swept you up they can sweep anyone up because they have money right so that money is a very big factor that they use to manipulate in order to have control in the situation okay then we have jupiter expansion okay this person could be aries leo sagittarius doesn't have to be but the signs i'm seeing are there okay could be your pisces as well at the bottom of the deck we have venus as well so taurus and libra as well or you could be you could be these signs as well right so very interesting this reading is okay so what version of them are you attracting let's see expansion again i'm seeing a amusement park here or amusement park here like there's this amusement that you will have towards them like you you won't believe your fate that you have this person in your life like that's that's how they want you to feel pile one like you won't believe that this person can even be in your life with the god complex here like they want 
like with the angel and god here they they even though you are an angel like you're below them you're beneath them so they want you to see them as the god as the sun of your life right and you revolve around them okay your needs and your wants and your desires don't matter okay this person could also take you for take you to casinos or they could take you to parties they could take you to uh, some uh, i'm hearing short distance trips uh, from your city okay on the weekends to kind of you know sweep you up with a lot of passion and again with jupiter and sun being here there's a lot of like there's a lot of energy of wanting to be the person that is the only one in your life okay in a way where like you take care of all of their needs including their emotional needs their emotional desires their mental needs okay if they want to detach from you for some time you should not call them you should not talk to them basically you should be able to read their mind in at every step of the way and if you don't there's punishment that's going to come in terms of you making you feel insecure about your position in their life okay making you feel like they can travel and they can sweep someone else off like i said and posting pictures about that you know and things like that like indirectly trying to hurt you without actually hurting you and it's like this person enjoys hurting people like this is interesting to me so you need to look at why you're attracting this pile one like this this is very clear to me like why are you attracting such a person and that's because again you are someone who wants a person that's like a movie star you know or someone that's like extremely good looking and maybe handsome or has a lot of money has a lot of wealth right but there's nothing wrong in wanting those things there's nothing wrong i'm telling you there's nothing wrong in that but when you're doing it from a place of not having yourself together on that level where you have built character based on earning money doing your hobbies learning about your interests you know things like that if you don't have your own life if you don't have your life together and you want to attract a person that can take care of you that can only uh, give you what you need then it becomes a codependent relationship right so are you looking for a person to only take care of you while you do nothing while you have no needs and no wants that's where you're faltering right here okay so yeah part 2 will be very helpful for you like what can you do to manifest the exact person of your desires or manifest the perfect soulmate that you deserve right that is the part 2 which will be given in the description box okay so let's see interesting pile a one interesting my love what version of your person are you attracting right now we have nine of swords a version of them that stresses you out a version of them that's extremely dramatic okay a version of them that likes to party that likes to have a night life a version of them that is very good with performing the best initially in a relationship to hook you in a person that's also extremely good in bed so that they can hook you in a version of them that is initially also very romantic until their mask falls off and now you see the ugliness within them okay and you're left wondering in 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 your bed like what just happened what did i do did i do something wrong did i overstep you know walking around eggshells around them that's how you're going to be if you attract this version of your person okay so let's see interesting let's see we have 8 of cups 
there's always going to be this game of coming back and walking away and coming back and that's why that's how they are going to manipulate you is they will be gone and then they will come back but they won't give you answers on like why they were gone and even if they give you answers they will give you answers that are either vague or answers that stress you out even more and bring trauma to you in some way and they will do it little by little right very interesting we have tower by one spirit we have king of cups wow this is emotional manipulation at its best at the bottom of the deck we have fool yeah because they are an emotional no they are not an emotional fool they are they are in the state of emotional mastery right here so that's interesting pile one but again with the tower and king of cups that tells me this is explosive emotions so they have explosive emotions which make them very erratic okay with the dog here running away from the fool this tells me that they they lack loyalty completely there's a lack of loyalty okay and with the crown blown up here i feel like every time you feel good about yourself or you feel like you know you have them in like you have them in your life or you have control over this relationship or the situation boom they do something to either make you walk away from them or they walk away from you either by creating drama creating a fight creating separation creating distance manufacturing difficulties in this relationship to make you bow down to make you even more submissive to make you feel like you are the one to blame like you are the you are the issue that needs to be fixed you need to fix yourself pile one okay and again emotionally very very manipulative right so appearing like they love you and that is why they are saying all these things to you they are saying these things because you should fix yourself hmm <sighs> wow um give me more on this person pile 1 give me more on pile 1 what kind of a person what version of this person is pile pile 1 attracting we have on the hunt so this is like a predator and a prey dynamic like they are the predator you are the prey right on the hunt retail therapy meeting at the mall Pre pleasantly surprised a happy find so i feel like This person once their passion runs out they are on to the next period like they cannot stick stick to one commitment or stick and be loyal to one person but they are very good at like taking you shopping making you feel like you know that you can buy expensive things for yourself you can um do certain things with them that you wouldn't be able to do if you were by yourself and that makes you codependent because now you get that high of wanting to experience buying expensive cocktails at a bar or buying expensive lingerie at shopping malls or going to the best dining restaurants in your city you know so those experiences when they are brought to you and those memories are made again with the emotional manipulation here that's how they draw you in right give me more so this person could have like studied about the psychology of how to get a person okay um how to get the gender that they desire right they have studied it very well okay give me more we have the runner we have blast from the past this person is also someone who cannot get over the past or for example if you become their ex in the future right they will never delete your number they will always be in touch with you they will always talk to you they will always try to keep in touch they will always try to um 
maintain a connection even though you're gone from their life right and if you create issues in your relationship they always go back to their past if they create drama in your relationship by manufacturing it they do it so they can go back to the past and they keep people on their like on their contact list of people that they can keep going back to to get their supply i'm hearing they need a supply right and again runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to ego right again very strong inflated ego this person has okay so whenever you're traveling with them whenever you're going out with them you have to look a certain way you have to talk a certain way if you don't fulfill that ideal version of a person in their mind you're useless right and you will be scolded and you will be punished by them running away from you to their past to the people on their contact list and there are several of them i'm seeing because again they have money right so they keep people on rotation i'm hearing and these are the this is the kind of a person you're currently attracting in your energy the bottom of the deck we have acts break up separation it's all in reverse pile one right so they don't break up they don't do separation they don't believe in separation so even though they are separating from you it's only to hurt you and to traumatize you but they will come back after they traumatize you to then fix you and to rescue you and to give you medicine for the hurt they themselves caused that's the tactic right here okay they could also be into older people so older uh, people a lot more than younger okay something like that is also coming through and older people also do not like to separate from them okay in their relationships give me more on this person pile 1 the version of pile 1's person that they are currently attracting we have high honor again high mighty right like they are the mighty one they are the one and only right <laughs> This is quite a funny person honestly. They think the world revolves around them or people revolve around them or people are like pawns for them. Okay, I'm seeing chess also in my mind's eye. So people are pawns that are meant to be sacrificed or something like that. We have toil and labor, yeah. This is a person that likes you to work hard for their attention, for their love, but they want all your attention on them. Even though they don't pay any attention to you. Like it's a very hypocritical person okay and they will it's like they they enjoy making you feel subservient and them being in high honor like you doing the toil and labor in the relationship you making the effort you making the plans you calling up you being concerned about them you taking care of them especially if they are drunk sloshed whatever right you being there whenever they mess up but you can't say anything to them about like how they messed up that day or how they spoke to you at a party that was very disrespectful but if you do that to them oh my god hell is going to break loose on you pile one right they could also be like a boss in a company right someone who uh, has employees right so their employees also um a lot of employees like do not like them i'm hearing okay they have some people charmed and some people actually have figured them out like that's what i'm hearing interesting we have community yeah the version of the person that you're attracting and manifesting community like that whole community right um of their workspace some people have them figured out some people don't now this person also has a group of friends or a group of people that are there with them right and they are just like them as well so they enable this behavior there are people who actually support them in being this in having this god complex basically which is so interesting they enable this behavior because 
that's how it's supposed to be i'm hearing like that's that's how it's supposed to be when you're on on this position that's how you're meant to behave because otherwise they have their own trust issues by the one right so anyways uh, i'm not going into that i don't want to read those people and their psychology right here but yeah so anything else spirit that you want to share about this person anything else for pile ooh that card fell literally um hold on so uh, this card fell down and you know what this is so funny pile uh pile one because we have the libation here and libation is talking about donation pray religion so it's like they are your religion and you're meant to give them offerings you're meant to like you know do things for them and you know <laughs> <laughs> lubricate their ego i'm hearing oh my god oh my goodness this person whoever this is man crazy yeah look at that everything that i've been explaining right let's keep that there let's keep loneliness here yeah their pride will always it, you know what like how you're going to feel in this relationship is that you're the only one in this relationship like you don't matter like you're a minuscule problem in whatever's going on in their life that's how you're eventually going to feel and it's only going to get worse with time okay now this could also be due to some kind of parental issues that you could have faced that you're attracting this person right so you need to look into that like how was your relationship with your father particularly pile 1 right we have robbery this person loves to steal your time your energy your efforts and they do this with sweeping you off your feet initially so you have nowhere to go you have nowhere to run at the bottom of the deck we have luck yeah because th there's money here you will feel like you got lucky with this person like like luck is on your side <laughs> initially that's how it's going to look right and somewhere deep inside you pile one there is some kind of a belief that either money is bad or rich people are bad or money is evil right that could also be one of the beliefs that is attracting this okay because yes money is a tool it's not evil it's not good it's none of that it's a tool and people tend to use it based on their own level of wisdom and their own level of consciousness and this person's consciousness is filled with pride and ego okay so you need to look into that belief whatever that belief is about money as well Okay, that will help you fix this as well, and check out the part two of what you can do, pile one. Okay, I'm also going to be providing spells over there, so if you want to check that out, it's on my Patreon only for nine dollars a month, so you can check that out on my Patreon. Okay, on what version of them should you manifest, or what version of them can you manifest based on the changes you make? That's the topic for part two. Okay, so do check that out on my Patreon. The details will be in the description box below, and you can also. Uh, by the way, the zodiac signs I think I did not mention. I'm seeing Gemini here, Aquarius. I'm seeing Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Okay, I'm seeing uh, Leo very strongly. I think I mentioned Leo, uh, Taurus, Sagittarius. Okay, these are the zodiac signs I'm currently seeing. Cancer as well. All right. So this is what I have for you, Pahal one. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you did like it, do comment below and let me know. Like, has this been the story of your life? Like, have you been attracting such people? Has this been an experience of the past? And are you still attracting such people? What's going on? You know, share it with me. I I love to read your comments. I love to interact with you. Okay, and uh, do check out my uh, description box for my Etsy wish list in case you would like to gift me tarot decks, oracle decks. um or my amazon wishlist for india as well as usa all the links are below 
um, you can also donate to my PayPal as well in case you resonate with this reading or this reading helped you in any way, shape or form. Pile 1. Okay. So thank you so much, Pile 1 and peace. All right. So Pile 2. Let's see what version of your person are you currently attracting? What version of your soulmate, of your crush? of your no contact situation person are you currently attracting we have guide in reverse we'll keep it upright but we'll read it as reverse hmm. so it says represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself and the shadow attribute says places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight interesting you're attracting a person that is and could be into spirituality okay they, this person could have some crystals that they own or they could be religious themselves as well okay uh, either religious or spiritual uh, take it how it relates with you now this person themselves even though they they are into these things like spirituality or cult or whatever they themselves are kind of like a schemer in a way I'm, I'm picking up okay like they either give the wrong guidance or the wrong advice or whatever they uh, this person could like literally be into selling spiritual items or could be into the business of helping other people or other spiritualists sell their items or things like that right but they themselves They themselves give ideas on how to sell something that's a dupe as an original or that's what I'm hearing like this person is like quite cunning quite shrewd um, yeah in a way where they know how to cut corners in whatever industry they're in to be able to sell stuff that is not authentic to what it says it is or what it advertises as it is right interesting very interesting this person is hungry for money okay this person has not been doing quite well financially because again they are duping people they are trying to manipulate people or whatever right to each their own but I feel like they have not been able to gain control over their finances currently okay and so they are kind of struggling they are struggling financially they are struggling to gain a name in their industry and there are a lot of people who are like talking bad about their products or their services or yeah like this person is going through it currently financially right and it's making them even more in uh, even more like getting into survival mode and getting threatened threatened with the kind of response they are getting and it's also making them want to do more of what they are doing i don't like that i don't like this energy at all to be honest with you like this person wants to keep doing the same thing and that's there's a quote right like doing the same thing over and over again is insanity right so that's what they're doing currently we have femme fatale at the bottom of the deck and we have child divine hmm. yeah they again with the femme fatale here they also hold their cards very close to the their chest and I feel like they appear to be what they are not. So they, uh, they appear to be like they have their finances together. Like they, uh, they could wear certain things which are like dupes. I'm hearing or <laughs> something like that. You know, a uh, very interesting kind of a person. This is um, this person likes to pretend like they are rich or pretend like they have a lot of money. Pretend like you know that they are doing very well but they actually internally know that they are like a scammer or they like to scam okay there's something about that coming through very strongly for this person we have femme fatale i'll keep that here uh, these cards here 
and again with the divine here with the spiritual guidance here there's something very connected about this person with spirituality and this person specifically looks for people who are into spirituality or who are into these things this person knows a lot more than they they open up about pile 2 okay like this person knows a lot more than they reveal and they appear to be someone who's quite a mystery or like there's this mysterious charm about them okay but in a way they they try to make the they try to make their partners reveal more about themselves so that they can study them and i'm getting they also try to go for people that are wealthier than them so that they can be taken care of wow <laughs> god damn it pile 2 interesting ha <sighs> okay so this person is like looking for a wealthy partner someone who can take care of them right and they do this by um showing that they believe in spirituality showing that they are they could be like a hippie or they could be into these things but whatever they sell or whatever they however they work it's like it's it's not at all authentic and a lot of customers that have taken or bought their items know that about them so their reputation in their own industry is not at all good right so they are kind of on a hunt to see if there are people who are wealthy that can actually take care of them okay and they do this by being very like mysterious and when like they are with you they they make you reveal certain things about yourself whereas they wouldn't reveal half of what they know like yeah they are very secretive because again they always have ulterior motives behind everything that they do pile to okay and this person is a taker like this person does not like to give or does not like to actually give people from a space of generosity or from a space of that's why they are suffering and they are struggling financially is because they have a very stingy mindset about giving to people actually giving to people and about being authentic towards people there's a lack of trust or uh, i don't know like there there could be some trauma there or they could just be entitled right could have been very spoiled growing up so they don't have the character and the wisdom to understand certain things you know so regardless uh, whichever uh, side they fall on they like to probe weaknesses of people and the needs of the person's inner child basically they like to exploit the person's vulnerabilities um this person okay this person could also keep up in shape um and initially they could also come across as someone who is very impressive who's doing very well at their work and they are a big talker but when it comes to actions the actions they take is only about how they can take from you like that's where their actions shine the most <laughs> honestly because they have nothing to give honestly right interesting so let's get a bit more on this person for pile 2 what version of your person are you manifesting right now we have pluto transformation again pluto is a very destructive planet okay pluto also rules scorpio scorpio is also in its negative 
a destructive sign in itself and scorpios have a very hard time trusting others very hard time and they are very secretive very mysterious right all they care about is their personal power again i'm seeing crystals here smoky quartz this person could work with like they could know which is or they could know warlocks or something like that like they work in this industry or they could service they could provide services within the industry in some way shape or form okay this person also has like a side to them which is very obsessive okay so this person is like even though they appear like they are not checking you out or even if they are not talking to you or even if they have distance with you and not communicating with you they have their eyes on you you better believe it like they have fake accounts you know like the fake word itself describes this person you know because they they tend to appear how they are not hmm also they are like looking for someone to like be a parent to them like literally because they want to be taken care of so they are looking literally for like uh, the perfect parent <laughs> wow damn they, this person could have some very strong mother issues mommy issues i'm hearing okay we have ninth house seeking and again this person is also exploding here because the cards are falling here and there so that's telling me that this person doesn't like me like talking about them on such a level but again i'm a reader and this is what i do okay so we have ninth house seeking and we have seventh house relating hmm I'm hearing hide and seek. This person likes to play hide and seek. They could also know how to do things energetically to make a person obsessed with them. They could do some like spells or things like that, okay? To make a person obsessed with them. They're looking for someone who can relate to them, so they try to relate to the person with having conversations which are very like superficial level and if a person if if like for example you right you have quite an awareness and you are very you, you very much self reflect and you you could be into meditation and you could be very self aware and you could be into self love and things like that right if you hear this person talk you will immediately catch on to how superficial they are being in front of you like how fake they are being okay this person could travel a lot and they could constantly change the way that they appear or the way that they dress up the way that they like they're constantly going through transformations in their life as well they could travel for work or they could be like a hippie i'm seeing a lot of hippie bags here so something about traveling to hippie areas or doing like um psychedelics is also what i'm hearing okay they could also travel internationally or they could be from an international uh, country as well but it's like this person is never happy because as soon as they see that there's nothing to gain for them in a relationship they move on to the next that's why they travel for work that's why they have they have this kind of a profession this could also be like an influencer or a content creator or someone who is into the spiritual industry yeah this could person could be adventurous okay 
they could have beliefs and faith in either spirituality religion like i said they could go on pilgrimages uh, go on spiritual quests but they do it very secretly i'm hearing like uh, either they do it secretly or people do not know exactly what's going on with them maybe they might post a story or two but they are very like secretive mysterious yeah so this is the version of them that you are attracting someone who is this way right at the bottom of the deck we have challenge here so relating with them is going to be a challenge because if they see that they have nothing to gain from you because either you are doing well financially and you are intelligent enough to not give them anything based on if they are trying to manipulate you out of it this person is going to move on to the next and you know things like that like this person is not someone who can stick around but this person is actually looking for a companion but a companion that also can take care of them and can give to them okay and it comes from a space of also a subconscious hatred towards the gender that they like okay there's a subconscious hatred towards the gender that they like based on the privileges that that gender has or yeah something like that or based on the power that that gender has give me more on this person we have 10 of coins it came sideways on pluto also so secretly they are seeking wealth secretly they are seeking someone who wants to who basically wants to add them to their legacy add them to their will or something like that they want to be a part of like a royal family name or yeah something like that like there's yeah we have um hangman here this person could also appear very seductive very like uh, alluring very magnetic very charming uh, very secretive like i said um they like to play hide and seek to make you more hooked onto them in a way Okay. We have knight of swords and we have knight of coins. At the bottom of the deck we have 10 of cups. Hmm. So the version of this person that you're attracting is someone who has a hard time sticking around as long as they don't see something big and beneficial coming out of you financially. the version of them that you are manifesting is someone who is transactional in their relationships someone who is also who also at times doesn't think before they speak so they also tend to keep themselves like they they lack conversational skills is what i'm hearing to be honest they are good at like scheming and manipulating and doing those things in their industry but they are very bad with communication and so they play these games to appear more mysterious and more charming so that they can hook you and they can study your vulnerabilities while they do that to see how you are reacting to them doing that so that they can take calculated measures on whether you you are desperate enough to be with them and them taking action towards then you know hooking you in to be a part of your financial life or if they can't gain anything out of you they leave you hanging they stop talking to you they ghost you or yeah something like that is coming through here hmm Let's get a bit more. So zodiac signs I'm seeing is Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Libra. Okay, give me more on 
the version of this person yeah we have separation sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure of future yeah this person is unsure of what they want to do in life pile two okay they are unsure of who they want to be what they want to do and this is why they want to be taken care of is because they don't know what they want in life they are directionless they don't have a specific goal in life or a specific focus in life that they are working towards okay this is why they are not doing good financially is because they don't have any planning they don't have any goals on what they want to do with that money if they even achieve it in the first place they are very bad at planning so they want all these qualities in the person that they are looking for someone that can do the work someone that can earn all the finances someone who is good with all of that so that they can be taken care of because they themselves are a scammer they they sell or they sell dupe products or they sell duplicates or something like that like they they sell fake fake things and so and the reason for that is because they don't know what they want that's why they are selling these things they don't know what they want right and it's like the way i'm speaking to you is also irritating me like this person irritates me i feel like you will be irritated by this person that's the version of this person you're attracting is a person that irritates you okay because you won't know like why the separation happened i'm hearing like they will leave you hanging they will not give you an answer or a reply those are the games that they like to play hide and seek i'm hearing like hide and seek they are watching you but they are not watching you they are watching you but they are not watching you yeah we have secrecy here we have sorry not sorry they will never apologize to you okay they have a very bad time relating with people they have very bad conversational skills communication skills which is why they keep themselves behind closed doors they keep themselves constantly going from one place to another to try to seek experiences and meaning in life but they can't find it because they have to actually sit still and focus on what they want in life which they can't like they have a very bad time doing that they could have adhd or the very impulsive okay we have friction sarcasm false apology again false right they like to appear false they they like to give that that energy of and spread that energy of being false because they can't like they can't deal with truth they can't deal with honesty there there could be a wound there you know give me one more we have coffin okay but it's in reverse so even though they will separate from you they will never ever let you go from their mind they will never ever forget you they will never ever like stop watching you stop playing hide and seek with you they will also have like secret affairs everywhere they travel okay um they also carry a lot of hurt and resentment within them they do not forgive and forget they always harbor grudges and resentments and they do it in secret right yeah the bottom of the deck we have hand of cards again hand of cards and we have hand of cards with this lady right here right she is holding a hand like that's a fan but it just looks like cards to me sometimes this person could have tattoos on their body as well but yeah hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand gambling and we had dice is here remember i don't know somewhere i saw dice is oh maybe it was another pile um but yeah this person is strategic though they they strategically do these things again because they want to benefit they want again seduction look at that seduction right yeah you the version of them you're manifesting is someone who can seduce the crap out of you right but they do it with this hide and seek they do it with this like push and pull this you know appearing and then disappearing like connecting and then running like that's that's the energy that you're dealing with okay so part 2 of this reading is going to have um what can you do to manifest the perfect version of your soulmate right now it could be this person itself you can manifest this person into the version that's perfect for you because nothing is impossible in this world okay that's what i believe in and 
if this is not the person then getting the right person for you the perfect soulmate for you who is that and how can you attract that in your life period right so that's what we are going to figure out in part two of this reading which will be on my patreon patreon membership okay so the link will be given in the description box do check it out if you're interested pile two okay so let's see what else pile two pile two spirit tap me into pile two pile two the version of their person that they are attracting currently pile two also i'm hearing like love is a game so this person thinks that love is a game like life is a game everything is a game okay this person could be a gamer themselves like they like to play games or uh, online or something like that we have journey yeah again traveling they keep traveling right and they keep separating from you the version of them that you're manifesting is someone that is traveling and again having secret affairs while traveling like that's what i'm picking up and keeping you seduced by them during that moment you know maybe having some phone um phone talk with you in an intimate way right the version of them yeah we have unexpected income through journey interesting now this person is someone who could have like several partners in several different locations and they tend to like go for the rich people or wealthy people who can take care of them like every experience that they have in every city and every country wherever they are traveling they have a person that's wealthy who can actually take care of them and this person could be like the attractive one or someone who is like very attractive so people like automatically you get seduced by this person right we have message of concern the version of this person that pile 2 is attracting right now we have thoughts so hmm like this person would like you to always think of them very highly and in a in a very seductive way or always wanting to seduce them or always wanting to like talk about sensual things with them right and whenever there's a separation that they create through this journey that they keep taking that should heighten your sensuality towards them and then they message you with thoughts about how they have been thinking about you and you only right but they are having secret affairs with people that they are traveling towards or in every uh, city because again they they can't hold it in right um and again they want money they want unexpected income right so they constantly want to be gifted money and things like that because they have no direction pile to okay <sighs> yeah that's pretty evident until now okay so pile to let me know in the comments like what's going on what do you think is making you attract such a person okay let me know in the comments like there could be some issues within you that you have with maybe your parents and your own upbringing what could that be what's going on with you and you know and you can fix this literally okay the answer is on my patreon for this i will also provide you a uh, certain alchemical spells that you can do to manifest your dream partner to manifest your soulmate right the person that's perfect for you the person that fits with you if for example you are someone who comes from a wealthy background rich background right you deserve someone who also has worked up to that level and can take care of themselves and can match your frequency and energy and interdependency with each other right so whatever it may be whatever version of a person that you deserve is what we are going to be channeling on my patreon okay so do check that out if you are interested okay and let me know in the comments how you feel about this reading like did you gain clarity uh, has this been has this experience been happening with you in the past as well okay you can also check out my paypal in case you would like to donate to me the paypal link is in the description box below you can also check out my etsy wish list in case you would like to donate tarot decks and oracle decks so i can channel even more details for you right um 
so i have my amazon and my etsy wish list in the description box below as well along with my paypal okay and i have personal readings available as well so you can book that from my etsy shop as well okay so thank you so much pile 2 and peace all right so pile 3 i took a break from channeling pile 1 and pile 2 and in pile 3 what i was picking up in the energy hold on pile 3 yes so what i was picking up in your person's energy is that this person that you're manifesting is a very very deep thinker okay they think very deeply they ponder very deeply upon things uh, they're not someone who just does things willy-nilly just for the sake of it um, yeah so deep thinker is coming through like they take decisions based on um, logic first okay and emotions later so let's see what what is the type of person what is the version of the person that you're manifesting right now this could be anyone it could be your crush it could be your soulmate it could be uh, a person that you're in no contact with separation with we have destroyer in reverse interesting yeah as i was talking about deep and we have de right as destroyers first two letters interesting so <clears throat> We have another E here, by the way. I don't know why I had to get into those details, but yeah. So pile three, uh, the version of your person that you're attracting right now is, I'm hearing this person is like kind of plotting a revenge on someone. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing, pile three. I'm not even kidding you. It's not on you. Don't worry about that it's it's this person is literally plotting a revenge on someone in their life someone close to them this could be a sibling i'm hearing so there could be some sibling rivalry here that this person has with their sibling okay and the sibling of this person is is someone who tried to do something to this person's parent i'm hearing interesting okay so this person has a sibling right and this is like a blood related sibling right and this sibling actually tried to take advantage of their own parents And so your person, the person that you're attracting is basically plotting a revenge against this person for trying to hurt, harm and manipulate his parents in some way, shape or form. So that tells me this person is extremely, uh, so this person loves very deeply. Okay. That's what's coming through. Like this person can go to any length to destroy a person that tries to hurt their family even if that person is a part of their family or even if that person itself is family this person cannot let go of the thought that the sibling even tried to do this especially if this person is alive <laughs> that's what i'm hearing interesting this person could be very well built, uh, could could uh, frequent gym a lot or could be into sports. I'm hearing extreme sports or could be into soccer, football, okay, basketball, football, yeah, could also be into martial arts, like training martial arts. This person like does a lot. This person has a lot of like anger stored within them, rage within them because of what this sibling has done so their attention is very much focused on this situation but in a way because of this person going through this very intense situation in their life and you attracting this person there could be something intense about you as well okay or there could be something extremely peaceful about you <laughs> So you're attracting some, uh, a destructive person, you know, uh, in that energy because opposites attract, right? So 
yeah interesting uh, so let's get a bit more so we have child wounded in reverse here at the bottom of the deck and we have king in reverse as well let's take these let's take these so all three cards came in reverse we have child wounded and we have king in reverse we'll keep it upright here but all are in reverse here so yeah let me get a bit more in detail about this person again at the bottom we have a uh, engineer literally so this person is engineering some plan this person is going through a strategy in their mind on how to destroy this sibling okay yeah literally we have mother here as well because i just uh, picked the bottom of the deck and it split and the deck split and the mother card was right there okay interesting we have prostitute in reverse as well at, uh, over there okay this is gonna get juicy pile three so yeah get your tea your popcorn okay <laughs> all right so this person currently could be into um drinking a lot okay so even if they work out they balance it with like even if they drink or even if they do certain substances they balance it out with their workout and their fitness they are someone who takes care of themselves no matter what but since they have been slighted so badly again because you see a, oh my goodness you see the mother here sheltering two siblings here okay so there's something about this other sibling with the king in reverse going against this mother figure in their life right so your person's mother basically and the sibling's mother but the sibling tra trying to target their mother okay it says excessive feelings of entitlement rulership without restraint i'm hearing this person could have like physically harmed their own mother or hurt their own mother okay something about violence is coming through here because we have wounded here as well so this person could have wounded their own mother the sibling could have wounded their own mother and your person is like so i cannot tell you the level of anger i'm feeling from this person like this person is like i don't know they're planning to like do something very horrible towards this person pile three okay and i'm not liking it because again this person needs to protect themselves why are they i mean they they should take protective measures to like you know even i'm becoming a bit concerned about this person to be honest with you but the version of the person that you're attracting currently is a person that is helpless by the treatment of their own family going against their family against each other in a way and them being helpless in the situation to the point where they are taking control by harming themselves in the process right yeah very interesting pile uh three okay and again here with child wounded it says blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds resists moving on through forgiveness so there's something that this sibling has not forgiven your person's mother for right and his or her mother for right and that wound itself is something that makes this sibling rule and try to hurt and harm and injure their own mother because maybe that mother could have inflicted some pain on that sibling or that mother could have had an abusive relationship with their spouse right and that abuse could have carried on on to the sibling but your person is like you're grown up now you don't have to constantly you know keep going back to the same old story about how you were hurt and what happened to you and what she did to you and what he did to you you're stuck in that and because of that stuckness you are trying to hurt someone that actually loves you that actually cares about you 
right so your person is furious right now okay so this is the version of your person that you are attracting currently is someone who is engineering a plan to destroy their own sibling okay their sibling rivalry going on here okay now this sibling could also want more power in the family or more uh, pr uh, more uh, leverage in the family financially okay so this person could want to have uh, either some kind of a property or some kind of an asset that the mother owns but the mother wants to maybe give it to both the siblings and that is making this other sibling furious um there's a lot of jealousy a lot of like destructive behavior that's fueling your person and it's in a way started by this sibling but it's also affecting your person to such a way where if this person has to end their own sibling they would and they would end themselves like they that's that's the level that i'm seeing here in this person okay oh my goodness this is deep um pile three okay this is quite serious this is deep um yeah so let's see what else um yeah there's like a very strong rivalry going on here and it's like about like life and death here in this energy like it's pretty intense if you ask me let's see we have pisces the version of your person that you're attracting right now we have scorpio powerhouse no wonder we have scorpio card here destroyer destroyer and scorpio pluto that's a destructive sign itself okay in its negative energy cancer is also coming through in reverse wow we have pisces scorpio cancer we have all three water signs right here yeah this is a a very strong emotional battle that's going on here at the bottom of the deck we have gemini as i'm recording this jupiter is also in gemini so someone could be a sagittarius here a gemini here as well virgo as well okay <clears throat> So the version of your person that you're attracting is someone who cannot control their emotions when it comes to them being hurt. Okay? Um them also feeling like they have to take extreme measures in order to see a hope of victory in their life. Them also trying to protect someone and you know go to extreme lengths in order to protect someone even at the cost of their own life. right now this person is also quite compassionate internally they are very compassionate they are very imaginative they are very healing their presence itself is very healing as a person they are someone who likes to give they are very generous of heart okay your person they are someone who also is looking for someone that they want to have a family with particularly this person okay but because of all of this trauma that is coming up to the surface in their life it's like they are losing themselves day by day like they they don't have a control over themselves their own emotions like they at times uh, go into fits of rage you know um i'm seeing panic attacks i'm seeing like um seizures like something like that is going on with this person their health is not really doing well because they are indulging in substances they are drinking um and they think that if they work out the next day that everything is going to be fine but what this person is not realizing is that they are actually hurting themselves more by letting this person control their emotions control their thoughts based on what they are doing and instead of plotting a revenge against this person your person uh, against their sibling this person should actually look for ways to escape the situation or to protect the people that they love by separating from that individual right or by creating distance from that individual but this person like your person is getting aggravated by the sibling like even if this person even if your person runs away this sibling will trigger their ego by saying that like you're such a wimp right like you are you're scared of me aren't you that's what i'm hearing from the sibling so there's a lot of like 
uh, power dynamics that are being played here in their life right yeah there's some family secrets that th this person is dealing with currently okay there could be some taboo and some destructive energy within their family that has been kept secret for a long time but yeah this person actually want something meaningful in their life they want to experience something deep intense meaningful they want to have a family they they want they are very family oriented themselves like they can do anything for their family they can go to any lengths i'm hearing this person like this person is and i i always channel these people on my in my readings like i um i've seen that you know the kind of collective i attract on my channel are like people who are that intense i'm hearing like yeah literally okay um but this person is going through something very intense and this person is not able to balance that okay so yeah you need to check out part two of this reading pile three because that will tell you exactly how you can shift this situation even for this person okay with your manifestation abilities and skills that's what the pile uh the part two of this reading will be all about on my patreon okay patreon link will be given in the description box below and the title of that reading is what should you do to manifest the perfect per version of this person in your life okay or what should you do to manifest the perfect soulmate in your life right so that will be the topic of that reading but regardless um this person is going through a complete death of the ego right now and they are being reborn into a next version of themselves but for that they have to strip away the love and the care that they held towards the sibling as well okay because the sibling of theirs um was someone that your person genuinely loved and genuinely cared for but they have to release they have to let go now like that's what i'm hearing and it's very painful for them to let go of this okay and definitely mother is between all this drama like there's something some secret that the mother has kept from that sibling or something has happened but it's like your person doesn't care as long as because that's the mother you do not talk like that to the mother like that's how your person is like no matter what the mother did it's okay like you do not talk like that to your mother whereas the other person um, the other sibling is like you know finger pointing and wanting to be violent towards the mother and things like that you know so there's that going on with this person right here uh, let's get some tarot cards okay so pile 3 wow this reading got real serious right um but your person is like intoxicated with wanting to have like destructive power over the sibling um and this this your person wants to destroy any dreams that the sibling has in order to achieve some kind of leverage over the mother okay which is interesting because somewhere it's like your yeah because again your person here that you're manifesting this person itself i mean they themselves are being manipulative in a way like they want to destroy this sibling's dreams by leveraging the connection they have with their mother as well now you know because although they do love their mother and they do genuinely care and would give their life for their mother they are also realizing that they do not want this sibling to have even a little bit from the mother like that's that's how destructive your person has become right now like that's what i'm hearing okay they don't want anything not even a single penny to go to this sibling okay interesting so let's see what the version of your person that you're attracting we have seven of coins reversed this mother could also play the victim a lot i'm hearing the victim in a situation or this mother could also sometimes create a lot of drama 
right but your person is like that's okay she is the mother no matter what she does it's forgiven that's what i'm hearing okay so that could get toxic because your person could enable a lot of behaviors from the mother that is not actually ethical or actually has integrity within it right so there's a lot that's going on there so this person keeps all of this a secret or yeah because they they are dealing with like too much right too much chaos so the version of your person that you're attracting we have uh, temperance okay i like that i like that card here but they have to make a decision about how they're going to do this and also they are figuring out what to do with the finances with the seven of pentacles reversed the version of the person that you're manifesting this person is struggling financially as well because of what's like what what's been going on in this dynamic okay the version of your person that you're manifesting right now is someone who is struggling financially but is also slowly recognizing and realizing that all of it is futile as long as they get to exact their revenge on this person right and at the same time there's this other side to them which also loves this sibling and also cares about the sibling and just wants to run away from all of this like just want to go ghost and run away from all of this like just be alone and just you know not even feeling like they are related to any of them anymore like because i feel like your person has some pain regarding the mother themselves but this person does not hurt their mother in any way your person does not hurt their mother in any way okay even though they have some trauma associated with the mother they do not challenge the mother they they do not question the mother they do not right and this person does this person does in fact this person would go to extreme lengths to try to destroy the mother as well right so this is like a protector this is like a destroyer but it's like they are both taking each other's archetypes at times as well like they are merging into each other that's what i'm that's how i'm seeing it spiritually pile 3 okay it's a very intense reading this one i've never done a reading like this before in my entire life um and it's quite detailed as well let me know in the comments like damn do you have a like a history of attracting very intense partners pile three because that's what i'm picking up here or you are attracting one such intense person because either your life is too peaceful and like you know you're on that journey of like uh, calming yourself and like relaxing and adding more peace in your life in some way right or it could be that you yourself have a very chaotic intense life or you could be going through something similar in your own life okay and that's why you're attracting this person in your life <sighs> this person genuinely wants an angel in their life like the version of the person that you're manifesting is that even though they deal with a lot of chaos they want an angel in their life someone who's peace loving who's calm who's very sympathetic who's very comforting because again in their core in their heart that is who they are as well but because of all this chaos and all this drama that this is who they are having to become and these are the two sides to them that they are not able to manage is what i'm hearing the side to them that wants to run away from all of it not deal with any of it because they have their own hurt and trauma that they haven't processed from what this mother did to them and what the father did to them and there's this other side to them which is fiercely protective and fiercely like a warrior you know protecting the mother because at the end of the day she's old or she's growing old and she needs to be taken care of so there are these two sides and these two personalities within this person that they are not able to reconcile they are not able to understand how to balance this right and you could be going through something similar where your dark dark side and your sh shadow side and your higher self and your angelic side both are at war with each other right now okay you could be going through something like this right so part 2 will be very very important for you to understand like how can you help this person manifest what it is that they deserve so that you get what you deserve or manifesting the perfect version of your person for you right that is what i'm going to be talking about on my extend uh, extended in my patreon part 2 right of this reading so very interesting okay um you could be a 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces. Okay. Yeah, these are the signs I'm seeing. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is also here, of course. So let's uh, get a bit more. The version of your person that you're attracting in your life right now. The version. Wow, we have game face. Look at that. Right? Destroy her and we have game face right here. Okay. Yeah. Taking things very seriously. A competition. The look in it to win it. Fake it till you make it. Right? So this person is in that zone right now. Like they, they will fake it till they make it. They, they will they will go to any length like if they have to play like a very cold game with the sibling in order to appear like in up in order to appear like they are also wounded just like that sibling is and to to kind of make a plan to be on their side and then deceive them eventually or like but at the same time they're not even sure of that like they are not sure where this anger is coming from towards their sibling and your person is like, is this anger actually for my sibling or is it for my own mother? Oh, wow, this is, oh, this is intense. Pile three, okay. This is intense, sweetheart, yeah. Yeah. They don't know whether to treat their mother with this energy where like, you know, their mother and bringing her flowers and treating her and, you know, doing everything for her, like being nice, a good son or a daughter to her or to be this this angry right like wow the, this is a lot to take in isn't it pile three like okay let's see pile three the version of your person also this person the version of the person that you're attracting right now is also They could be someone who also like gets turned on by anger or making you angry or yeah like there's a lot of twisted energy coming in this person because again they are not that way pile three i don't know why but i want to emphasize that this is actually a genuinely good-hearted person but because of their own circumstances and their own trauma which is unhealed unprocessed this person is channeling their anger and rage in ways that are not even understandable and fathomable to themselves so in, in a way they are self-sabotaging and they are self on a self-destructive mode because they are trying to destroy someone that they love anyway okay and they don't know why they are doing that in the first place and who their anger is actually towards in the first place okay because everyone is at fault here even they are at fault we have cheers So there's a lot of drinking going on here. Okay, you're manifesting a drinker, an alcoholic could be as well. Someone who drinks a lot and even drinks on dates, gets sloshed. And there could be anger that comes out after drinking because again, there's a lot of suppression that's happening, right? A lot of suppression. So initially when they are drinking, they'll be very sweet and kind to you. But eventually there's this anger that bubbles up and they will be angry towards you even though you didn't do anything, right? there's a lot of unprocessed trauma right here we see island time here i don't know why i took another one but okay let's get one more this person actually needs a vacation we have a gratitude gratuity in reverse yeah there's a lack of being grateful there's a lack of abundance or feeling like there is abundance or enough abundance for both of them to be happy okay there is a scarcity mindset you know like how we see in nature there is always abundance of fruits one seed and you get so many fruits right there's so much abundance in just a tiny little thing so it's showing us something it's showing us what our mentality is supposed to be like how abundant we are supposed to be and how abundantly we are supposed to share with each other right because everything is in abundance for us does the air ever run out so many humans are breathing on this planet does the air ever run out do the elements fail at doing their job right so if we have so many things in abundance where is this scarcity mindset coming from 
right so it's coming from their own upbringing and their own unprocessed traumas and wounds that need to be dealt with okay and they're also going through this whole situation to actually reconcile their own shadow side and their own angelic side to understand that both have to exist in harmony within them okay and you could be going through something similar right um yeah at the bottom of the deck we have sorry not sorry friction sarcasm yeah there's a lot of friction in this person's energy okay you are attracting a person filled with friction right now they don't know where they stand okay what they are going to do um all they know is that they want to destroy their sibling okay and that's where they're channeling their engineering energy that i had shown you remember yeah and something about the sibling also calling their own mother like a prostitute or like you know someone who's like something like that is going on here okay i'm not going too much into the details because you know we don't need to know that much right i'm just respecting your person's privacy here okay but for details and things like that if you want more such topics my patreon is the way to go right pal 3 because you genuinely want to know something because you deserve to know it that's where you go patreon okay so let's see pile hold on pile 3 spirit the version of the person that pile 3 is attracting the version of pile 3's person that they are attracting right now we have high honor yeah your person wants high honor at all cost now like it's like this sibling's dream is now their dream as well like let's see who wins it let's see who wins this game right and sometimes even this your person is being manipulative towards the mother to gain the mother's love and trust and why do i feel like the mother it's the mother herself is the mastermind here like she is making them dance to her rhythm like that's what's going on exactly and these two feel like they are on top of it or like they feel like they are doing it but she playing the victim in between both of them and them fighting is what she actually wants is what i'm hearing like this is crazy oh my goodness okay we have judication so something about court custody or about uh property assets okay division of assets such drama could be going on in this person's life okay you're also attracting a person that's under spiritual judgment okay this person has to reconcile their darkness and their light is what's coming through we have journey okay at the bottom we have despair yeah hopelessness right feeling hopeless about the situation like where do i go to where, where do i go from here like what do i do journey hopeless like should i ghost everyone and just run away or should i just be here and keep doing this and they are not even enjoying this like there's nothing to enjoy in this of course right there's so much chaos and they pretending like they want to win it like they are born for this or like they are putting on this game face out of ego like they actually do not like this there's this very strong peaceful side of them that wants to like help them come out of this mess but it's like they don't want to listen to that side because again their ego is louder than their their angel inside right so that's what's creating this sense of like despair and hopelessness and uh yeah something about a house is also coming through so that could be the case as well like they are fighting over a house over a will over some kind of property okay Wow, that was pretty detailed, wasn't it? Pile three. You let me know. Oh my goodness. So, um, anything else for pile? We have wow again. Another house in this card. Okay. The version of your person that you're attracting actually makes promises and never breaks them. Okay. this is that kind of a person like when they promise you that they will call you at 9 pm in the night they will like it's that's just a small um, promise that i'm talking about but even the bigger promises like this person has a lot of integrity like their light side their higher self 
and how much they can actually connect with their higher self is if they look at their wounds and heal and not let this mother manipulate them they are actually someone who are very loyal to the core they love their family like they are very 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 um deeply affected by things that mess up the harmony within their life okay um and they they make sure that they take care of it in every way okay um so they are protected in a true sense but they are in a cycle of self destruction right now okay and they are learning something from this as well is what i'm hearing we have mask but they also don't know this like they also don't know that they have this side in them they don't believe in this side in them anymore because of everything that they have gone through they believe that everyone wears a mask and that they have to also do the same they have to adapt to the people that are evil around them because they are evil themselves that their blood is evil like uh, they are cursed or that's how this person is thinking right now like that's i'm, I'm just cursed so i'm going to be this way like who can change me who can stop me like again that ego chatter right we have robbery this person could also be planning to like this person could have promised their mother that they are going to steal everything from this other sibling and leave but at the same time what is stopping them from leaving is that ego yeah that's what it is like so they're strategizing on how to like steal from their sibling and give it to their mother or like take their mother and run away or oh my god there's so much chaos in here give me one last card we have aid yeah like i'm there for you mom like that's what i'm hearing from your person i'm there for you no matter who leaves you who leaves your side or who is trying to be uh, destructive towards you or who is trying to do this or that i'm with you right and i'm going to steal from my sibling and i'm going to take care of you and i'm going to do this and that and they are making false promises though because i feel like your person also doesn't intend on keeping those promises because they have trauma related to this mother who this is man i don't know what to say okay yeah <laughs> spirit is like live and learn <laughs> spirit is coming through with live and learn like th this person is going through like a major 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 lesson spiritual lesson they are going through experience training development they are going through some kind of initiation some kind of a spiritual lesson that is developing their character their soul okay so this is bigger than you and me pile three this is like beyond everything <laughs> so you let me know in the comments man like wow what a reading right i've never channeled information on such level of depth before so you let me know like how you feel about this okay but anyways pile 3 check out the description box if you would like to gift me tarot decks you can check out my etsy wish list okay i can this is nothing like if you gift me certain decks i'm going to blow your mind with the details but yeah they are there on my wish list on etsy so check my etsy wish list out You can also check out my Etsy shop in case you would like to book tarot readings with me, personal readings with me. You can check out my Amazon wish list if you are from USA or India. Both those wish lists are given below in the description box. Um you can check out my um Patreon in case you would like to check out my Alchemist tier where I teach you how to manifest your dream life in 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 regards to your money, your love life, your career, everything, okay? connecting with your ancestors spirituality um getting rid of evil eye etc i teach you how to do all of that on my patreon on the alchemist tier and on my pick a card tier you will get all the pick a card readings exclusively available only on patreon along with the part 2 of this reading right so do let me know in the comments pile 3 like do you have a history of attracting such people um has this been a pattern or is this something new for you like you're also like kind of nervous or you're frustrated what's going on in your love life let me know in the comments okay and do like share and subscribe to my channel my loves okay so thank you so much pile 3 and peace